Friday morning and welcome to Local Memphis Live. This morning our first guest is an author, advocate, activist, inspirational speaker, and wait for it, a mom of not one, not two, but three. Lord have mercy. She's also a stroke survivor and she's using what she has learned to help other women through the power of the written word. Welcome a true cheerleader for all women and moms, Jessica Cross. Good morning Good to morning. you. Good morning. I always say a mom of, look, moms in general, deserve a big award yes. but moms of multiples to me deserve yes. multiple awards yes and you're a working mom yes I am you're a traveling mom yes I am you're an inspirational speaker <laughs> yes <laughs> oh my gosh and a stroke survivor and a stroke survivor five years I had a stroke and um, right after I had a stroke my therapist came to me to my home and she said I need you to type something on your computer anything I don't care what it is I want you to type and I was like, type what? what? I'm like, okay. But I felt like if I was to type one, two, threes, ABCs and stuff, I would become bored. And um, because I said I, wanted, I, went, I wasn't going to type those, right? Um, I, I, kept, I thought about writing a book, Cross Lines, What Lies Buried Within a Heart. And that's why I came out. Wow. Yeah. So so actually she suggested, let me make sure I understand you. Okay. She suggested that you start writing kind of as a uh, healing tool. It was a, like a healing tool, like a therapy. Therapy, um, because, yeah. Okay, um, I get I that. I was paralyzed on my right side. I couldn't, Bless your heart. I, I couldn't do anything. My mobility was gone. So she suggested that I use my computer to type something, then that would help me um, become more mobile. And okay. when she was just suggesting that, you know, it was like really boring. She didn't care what I wrote, just one, two, three is ABTs, but right. I, I felt like I would be bored doing that. Wow. And so that's why the book came out, Cross Lines, What Lies Buried Between the Hearts. And um, not only have I written this, written this book, um, my next book comes out at the end of this year because I'm like on the last chapter of writing. Wow, the, and the I love it. Book. It's it's fiction, but it's it does, fiction. but you can really relate to the books. The characters yes. are very relatable. It talks about, <laughs> which I say all the time. I, we, my husband and I just celebrated 15 years yesterday of marriage, <laughs> and I say communication, communication, yes. communication. Yes. And girl, you know, oftentimes in the communication business, even we ourselves are not yeah. great at communicating yes. but in marriage sometimes when you have kids Yes. Even when you don't have kids, you get lost in translation. Mm -hmm. That's exactly right. And that's what I try to portray in the story about the communication between a, mar a wife and a husband, how that communication can, can get lost. And right. then the other person, which would be the spouses, they will just be like, okay, let me, temptation is easily to, to creep into the, the marriage with it at that point, you know? Absolutely. And, and Jessica, yeah. without giving it away, I, and I don't want to give too much of it away <laughs> because I want you to get it because it's so fabulous. Yes. Tell us that there is a common theme of betrayal and there <laughs> is um, a, a lot of miscommunication mm -hmm. and a lot of temptation mm -hmm. in the book. Look, she's going, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, with, without giving the book away, the betrayal is between uh, the, the the husbands, the married couple, okay. and also the betrayal between her and her best friend. So oh, that's where the betrayal lies, lies at. But it, you know, <laughs> it, it's really interesting because to me, when I started reading it, I was like, oh, okay. Uh, okay, it yes. just sucks you in, and then yes. all of a sudden you wake up and you're on like page, because let's see, it's only 240, not 250 pages. Yes. You wake up and you're on page 251. Yes. <laughs> And, and a lot of my readers that I've, I've spoke, spoken with, they say, oh, my, my God, we, it's, we're done. We're done. We're, when what happens next? Yeah, when is the yeah. second book yeah. coming out? And trust and believe me, the second book will be out by the end of this year. So just out of curiosity, because I know our moms watching this morning are wondering, yeah. did this happen in your life? No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, I just, you know, because no. sometimes you wonder. But, yes. but the fact that you are doing what you do and you had time to do this, I think yes. is so admirable. Thank you. Message to moms this morning. Um, I know it's not a motivational <laughs> Monday, so I kind of put you on the spot, but I'm just curious as a mom of three. And you've got girls or two girls and a boy? Um, Does it matter? It doesn't matter. It's, it's right. two boys and a girl. But, two boys um, and a girl. Okay, my, gotcha. I, my, my, my friend assistant, the, the kid is here with me. But, wow. You know, um, the message that I would have to say to, uh, to moms is that no matter what it is that you want to do, dreams, aspirations, 
those dreams can become a reality once you put your mind to it that you're going to yeah. do it and no matter what yeah. you know because i'm a traveling mom um, going to um, sell these different books and stuff going and to inspirational talks going to inspirational talks and everything so i just say never give up just keep going for your dreams and if, and that's the one thing that i is that is important to me everywhere i go i like to bring my children with me so they can see I think that's beautiful you know because mom's doing you didn't that. let your stroke break no, you no ma'am i did not let my stroke break me um when i had the stroke i was determined to be better than before Oh my gosh, so, that know. makes me want to cry. <laughs> I love it. Oh, <laughs> Wow, De Jessica, thank you so thank much for being with welcome. us today. This is really <laughs> awesome. I would really encourage you to get it. And you know, during the summertime, when we spend time with friends and family, it's really a great time to pick up a good read. Yes. And I am endorsing this one, honey. Oh, and we didn't even you. mention, she's got the Strong Cross, Cross Foundation, yes. which is Amazing. <laughs> She's also founded this nonprofit that works with uh, teens, right? Yes, teens and young moms who um, who just want to make themselves better. Who Girl, want to do something better for themselves. You are making me better because <laughs> the, the amount of work that you do along with yes. raising three kids is yeah. impressive to say the very least. She's amazing. Strong Cross Foundation. Get her book. She's an author, advocate, activist, and mom of three. She's amazing. Jessica Cross, thank you for joining thank us. You. Cross lines. You definitely want to cross the line and get this book, honey, because <laughs> trust me, you will be encouraged. Coming up in today's show, make a joyful noise with the kids from...